Riz, with the new rules, how much are you having to teach this? Because it used to be kind of muscle memory, I guess, in terms of kickoff returns and, and kickoffs, and now new rules, and just kind of a new parameter for everybody. For everybody, coaches included. So, uh, no, listen, we're, we're doing drills we've never done before. Um, we're working on, you know, this is my 31st year coaching special team. So, uh, you know, kind of keep, keep teaching the old dog a new trick kind of thing, and, and we're putting a lot of time and effort into it, a lot of meeting time. Uh, as I was just talking about earlier, just explaining all the rules, uh, understanding the new rules. This is not anything that anyone's ever done before. So you can't say, hey, this is something you did in Pop Warner or high school or college. Everybody. And in a weird way, the rookies had a little bit of a head start on it because we were started working on it in rookie minicamp. So they actually started doing it before the vets started doing it, uh, which is kind of a, a unique deal for the first time ever. Um, but no, so we're, we're trying to um, piece by piece it together. Uh, there's going to be a lot of work in progress with it. It's going to be something we're going to have to work more than we have before in the preseason. I'm really looking forward to the preseason games because that's going to be the ultimate kind of putting it all together. Um, you know, if we practice against other teams, it's always been a deal where you kind of were scared or, you, did, you know, entry yeah. risk to, to work on it. We're going to work on it. So uh, we're going to work on 11 on 11 against each other, against other teams. And so it's a, definitely a unique, unique deal. You know, what are the nuances in the cover and the return? Well, I'll tell you what, from, from working on it so far, I would say the coverage aspect, you know, your initial get off when that ball touches, uh, we kind of put some drills together where we try to create some obstacles for vision. We put some pop-ups, people, because the coverage the coverage guys have to get vision on the ball because obviously they can't start until it touches something. And, it, and an offsides penalty is a big deal because you're really giving a free play, no different than the defense would be giving the offense. So I think their body posture because they're so used to running down the field and kind of taking the line. Now it's going on the touch. Same thing on the return side of things. Think about it. Your back is to the returner a lot of times. So kind of when the when the play starts. The other thing for the return guys that we're noticing in practice is those kickoff coverage players, they're on you a lot quicker than you might think. When you draw it up on the board and put it up on a screen, five yards seems like maybe you have a lot of room and you really don't. Kickoff team has a little bit of an advantage when they get off. So you're getting, you're kind of starting a little bit later. So that's why the drill work's going to be really important. But those are some of the nuances we're starting to find out. You know, with the punting, we saw Lou Headley, is he working a little bit more on, I guess, height and time as opposed to last year when it was a little bit more lower and directional? Well, we're just trying to add the traditional punts to the toolbox, you know, if you will. So I think when we met with Lou at the end of last year, um, it's something he had done before, but he hadn't had a ton of experience in. So his focus in the offseason has been on, hey, kind of just like every other player out here, kind of get better uh, at what you could, you know, think, get. The, we kind of gave him a, a laundry list of things to get better at in the offseason. Mm -hmm. And he's done that. He, he took at, it took a few months, and he's kind of trying to make that part of his game better. So, you know, the focus out here has been more traditional punting, and, and that's kind of been the focus for the spring for him. Are you satisfied with what group he did, Coach? In, in terms of last year? Yes. Um, I would say no. Meaning, and, why, and, and I think that's a, a, a loaded answer, a loaded question too. Um, they're never satisfied, you know. Uh, I think if you ask every kicker, they're never going to be satisfied unless they're 100% across the board. I mean, he did some things very, very well. Uh, we were one, I think, five teams in the league that made every extra point. Uh, as a rookie kicker, I think there's always going to be that jump that you hope for in year one to two, Ed. And I think. Um, if you look back at the season, there were some kicks, you know, we wish we had back. I think, you know, those, those, those shorter kicks that we missed, those, those have to be, those got to be gimmies. The gimmies have to be gimmies. And so when I say no, I think there's plenty of room for improvement. Um, but I think you'll see that out of him. I, there's no doubt in my mind.